Hi, welcome. My name is Karen and I am a, am a developer advocate for Velo at Wix. Welcome to Vibes with Velo. I'm joined here today with Josh um, to go over data sorting. What's up, Josh? Hey, what's going on? Um, yeah, I'm excited to go over some data sorting today. So we're not going to take too long to kind of learn data sorting. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, with using Wix Data API, um, and we'll jump right into the editor. Um, but before awesome. we get started, let's talk a little bit about Wix Data and the sorting uh, function. So you want to make sure that you use set sort, uh, which is another function that uses uh, the Wix Data Set API. Um, and if you're not using that, then you're not going to be able to sort through the collection of items that you have inside your inside your database. So uh, that being said, let's just jump into the editor and talk a little bit more about um, sorting. So let me share Perfect. My Let's do it. Cool. So share my screen now. And um, I have these list of planets because who doesn't love space, right? And um, so these list of planets are stored inside of a collection uh, called Galaxy. And it's just a list of all the planets that we have in the Milky Way. All right. Simple as that. And I have that connected to a repeater that's also connected to a data set for uh, the planets. So uh, this data set, um, like I said, is connected to all parts. So we have the image, we have the text for each planet. Um, and now we want to be able to control how we want to sort things. So I bought in a dropdown. All right, I bought in this dropdown here and we can rename this dropdown whatever we'd like. So. Let's just go over here to the properties panel on the side here and let's name it planets, all right, or something like that. So sort the planets. Um, we'll also have something in here for managed choices that we already started. So I'll have oldest and newest, um, and we'll put in Wix data in our code just so we can sort it from which planet was added to my database um, from old to new, right? And vice versa. So. Makes sense. Cool, right? So we already have our import statement for Wix data already on the IDE here. So let's get to using it. So the first thing we want to do um, is actually um, have an on change, create an on change event for our dropdown. Um, the reason why we're doing this for our dropdown uh, is because we're going to be changing the choices from new to old or old to new, right? However we want to, however we want to sort um, our data. So we have this as planets. Um, and then we'll also use an on change. So you could do this programmatically, or you can do this um, with the properties panel as well. Um, I personally just like to do it uh, programmatically like this, but uh, either way it will work. So in the on change, let's also uh, rename our dropdown um, just as like the different values that we have, right? So let's create a value a variable for that. So we'll let a uh, dropdown value. I will equal that to the value of what is inside of the dropdown itself. So we'll select the dropdown once again. So we'll do dollar, dollar W, and we'll actually choose planets, our dropdown, and we'll look for the value. Cool. So now all we have to do is just set some, uh, some conditions for our planets and how we want things to get sorted when we uh, have a certain change happen. So we can create uh, an if statement here for uh, if the dropdown value equals to one of the values we already, the choices that we already have, either oldest or newest. And you have to make sure that the value and the label are the same right here it is what we're gonna be looking for is the value, right? So if the value is oldest and newest this is what, the, what we're gonna be looking for programmatically. So we're going to say if the dropdown value, which you already have here on auto select, if that strictly equals to, let's say, to the oldest, all right, to oldest, we'll also come here and we'll um, <clears throat> use the sort uh, set sort uh, function so we can actually uh, sort from the oldest. So we'll use descending, all right? So we'll select once again. Our, um, our planets. So we have here dollar W and we'll select our, uh, our, drop, our, our planets that we have here for our dropdown. So actually, I'm sorry, for our, 
data set here. So the dollar W and we'll choose our data set for planets. Cool. So when we choose our for planets, we're going to use set sort. And within set sort, we're going to use Wix data dot sort, and we're going to go through a descending, a descending pattern here. So we Wix data dot sort. And then after the sorting, we're going to go to descending. And we're going to choose which field that we're going to descend from. So with this field, we're going to choose a uh, created date. So um, if you go here to our collection, and we look for some of these hidden fields, let's just say like create a date, right? Get that field out, look at the properties. And this is the field key that we want because we want to uh, sort this from old to new. Boom. And we can repeat the same exact function here on um, the same exact statement here actually for, uh, for ascending. So we can switch this to newest. So let's go ahead and try that out. And we'll change this here to ascending. All right, and we'll get rid of this here. And let's preview away and we'll try out our dropdown. So planets. Sort our planets and let's go from newest. So we're seeing now we're seeing a sort happen with the input that we have from our drop down and it's changing. So you can use this for any field um, that you have inside your collection. You can use this um, with different inputs for whatever you're whatever you're going to be looking for. Um, there's so many different scenarios that you would have to use sorting uh, functions for. Um, this is just a real simple way for you to get introduced on how to use this within uh, your projects. Um, so. Uh, that's pretty much it um, for, for this video. We'll definitely dive in like in the future of some more in-depth examples of how to use uh, Wix data and sort. Awesome. Thanks, Josh. This was very useful. Yeah, no problem. Cool. So catch you guys next time. Cool. Peace.